you know, go live. Hello everyone, we are live from Westminster with my union flag. Uh, we are going to be covering uh, today's uh, vote in Parliament. Obviously Boris Johnson now yeah, has his deal tabled. And there's a bit of an issue now because Oliver Letwin is adding an amendment uh, that will basically, if it goes through, Boris Johnson will pull the vote. And uh, so the vote won't actually happen today, uh, which means uh, we're going to have to wait till Monday. And uh, ironically, what this is going to do, Letwin, is that if that passes, uh, well, it's like, well, something's happening with the audio or? <laughs> uh, it's quiet. It's quiet. Well, let me try and bring it up. Can people confirm that they can hear me? <laughs> can you guys hear me now? Gonna shout basically. It's gonna be very, very loud here. But we are here with all the remainers. Uh, so what Letwin's vote is gonna do if it goes through? Then yeah, unintentionally, it, it is going to push for a no deal Brexit. So that's gonna be funny. Uh, so let's go and talk to some of the remainers. I'm gonna hide my flag because I don't want them to kind of know who I am. <laughs> um, so as you can see, we've got the Remain March um, out and proud. Although there are not many of them here just yet. But uh, let's see if we can talk to anyone. Hi guys, why are you here today? What's, ha what's happening here? Um, well, we Mate, the mic ain't working. Yeah. At all? Well, we yeah. have a problem with the sound. Yeah. Um, do you think people have more information now than they Absolutely. Including myself. Yeah. I mean, I don't suggest that I need everything to learn. Are you doing really what you voted for? Yeah, I, you know, but not as yeah. much as I do now. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Um, absolutely. Of course, we all try to inform ourselves. Yeah. I didn't understand the complexity of violence, for example. I didn't right. understand that. And I don't think any of us can pretend that we did. Yeah. Even Right. Uh, what do you think is going to happen today? Do you think the deal is going to go through? Or? I don't think. And I would be very, so you, very that sad would be as no a lawyer. No. <laughs> <laughs> you won't, the you won't act, that as a lawyer, I'd be very sad <laughs> if the Benat doesn't achieve what it's supposed yeah. to achieve. And I'd, I'd be very, very sad if a Labour uh, MP was the one who actually brought this to pass. If they actually bring in place by one single Labour vote, yeah. a Tory majority and a Tory Brexit, they would have let Ireland. Yeah. Right, so so we have an issue with. Let me just double check the guys. Let me check the oh, sound okay. and everything. Um, can you guys hear me? What's going on? Sound can't hear. Well, at all. This is not good. <laughs> okay, Michael can't hear. When background noise because of that. It's because of that. Okay, that. we're gonna move away from this weirdo who's, who's got us music on. Uh, let's go this way. Sound is good. Okay, so the people who can't hear, you probably have to turn up the volume or get a better phone. <laughs> there we go. Um, so we are now in Parliament Square. And there, earlier on, about 15 minutes ago, there were more Brexiteers here than Remainers, but now Remainers are coming out. So uh, let's kind of see how the day is going for everybody. Uh, let me show you around. I might actually be even closer to the camera just in case. You can see they're everywhere. Let's see if you can find anyone else to talk to. I'm trying to find Steve Bray, the stop Brexit guy. I think he's somewhere in the middle. Let's see. I don't really see much energy. Um, it's probably because it's Saturday morning and people were just watching rugby or something. Find some Brexit here as well. Uh, there, are some, there we go, let's go talk to the Brexit here. We have a change UK. Yeah, it's still a thing apparently. Who are they? <laughs> Who are they? Who are you? <laughs> right, the liars! The cheats! The parasites! <laughs> How do 
Let's get somebody quiet. <laughs> Steve Bray be down now, wouldn't he? Hi. Yeah, you're live now on the Pressure Channel YouTube channel. Uh, how's the day going? Are we going to win or? Oh man, right, the camera mic is still on, not your little pearl mics. So, okay, sound might not be clear, so we're going to have to fix it for the next set. So just to clarify, uh, we're going to do another live stream at uh, 2 o'clock, around 2 o'clock we're going to do another live stream from a quieter place, we're going to sit down, we're going to have a few guests on the show, and we're going to bring you up the dates on what's going on in Parliament, and how the let me vote would go, and how the potential Boris vote and uh, see how it goes by the two o'clock is the uh, the next session uh, let's keep walking to the next place and then um, we'll see you at two o'clock so let's go somewhere quieter as i said there are a lot of remainers here but they're not really energetic to only show. camera mics that work that's what it's saying oh right okay so there's an issue with the let me see what that's right so i'm guessing you can hear me better now like this no, that's, yeah, the two mics is actually not working, so we are now going towards the Brexit side again. Okay, sounds better now. So as I said, we're going to have to wait and see until uh, around 2 o'clock. We're going to have a few guests on the show and um, I think if the let win vote goes through, uh, it will be slightly difficult. Oh, yes, yes. We have a, let me show you what we are looking at right now. <laughs> so we have a we have a guest on the show. Oh yeah, I follow you. You're amazing. You watch the show, you watch the channel. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> we just had a supporter come in, say hi, and uh, she she left. She had to go somewhere. Uh, but uh, you can see the paratroopers protesting in favour of uh, the veterans because there are bigger causes that we have to also look after. While Remainers are protesting, these guys are actually fighting for a good cause. British soldiers stand trial in Northern Ireland while terrorists walk free. So there's, there's a bit of a um, tension with the Remainers as well. They're giving bad looks to everyone, so it's kind of a bit difficult and awkward. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite lively, but it's very quiet. Not sure what's happening. Maybe everyone's hungover. Uh, but it uh, doesn't really look good for them. We have a couple of hours to go. Let's see um, how it goes. Uh, there are people asking if it's a new treaty. Just to clarify, I said in my yesterday's video, every international agreement that's ratified is a treaty. Uh, even free trade agreements that we sign with America and everyone, they're treaties. It's just what it's called, treaty. Uh, and um, it's part of Article 50 that you have to sort out the divorce aspects of uh, leaving the European Union. And that's why it's called a treaty. Uh, so even if you leave without a deal and then you want to sign a trade deal with Europe again, it's a treaty. Uh, so that's going to clarify the misunderstanding. Um, we have... Hello, how are you? How's your day going? Let's see. So uh, what, what are your thoughts uh, on uh, today? And today, I think we want to show, uh, we want to show the world that the uh, UK still wants to stay in the EU. Right. This is the best we have. Why is it better for the UK to be in, inside the EU? Always stronger together. Right. The UK will not survive outside the EU. Right. 
so we've got to stay together and be prosperous in the right. future together. For the be, future of UK. What about uh, Australia, Canada, South Korea, Japan? Uh, they're not in any union in that sense, um, but they're doing okay, right? Yeah, but we're still doing together as the EU. We already um, negotiated the free trade right. deal with Japan, right. Vietnam, Singapore, right. and very soon we'll be have a free trade deal with. Uh, uh, Southeast Asia countries as well. Yep, yep. So we will definitely have more trade mm -hmm. inside the EU than if we go alone and having to negotiate each trade right. deal one by one. That will take take us too much time and too much resources. We haven't got that time right. and money. Well, let's we'll see how it goes. Obviously, if we leave. Uh by the end of October, then they're going to have to do it anyway. So, what do you think is going to happen today, the votes? Do you think the deal's going to go through? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> half, half. <laughs> you won't be happy, would you? <laughs> I won't be happy if we've gone through. Well, yeah. see how it goes. But uh, good Thank to meet you. you. And uh, what, does that, what does that say, the T-shirt? Oh. Euro. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Thank have a good day. Nice Thanks. Day. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've got some nice Romanians, but obviously still deluded. They're don't know the facts. Uh, this argument that you know we <laughs> we can only sign trade deals inside the, the European Union is absolutely ridiculous because uh, individual uh, bilateral agreements uh, usually takes about two years anyway, and we can negotiate multiple trade deals with various countries at the same time from the first of November. Uh, so. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, but in terms of, as we said, the let win amendment obviously is going to make it difficult for Boris's deal to go through and he's going to pull, basically. Boris is going to pull the deal if that goes through. But actually, ironically, what uh, let win is going to do is it's going to make the possibility of no deal even more possible. So, so if, if we leave without a deal, it's all thanks to Oliver Letwin. So we should all thank him. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Um, any questions you guys have about here? Do you want us to uh, go anywhere? Yes, the connection has been great. So for the next session, as I said, we're going to go to uh, we're going to go outside Parliament, somewhere quieter. We're going to have the actual uh, show live from somewhere with a better sound and better connection. So uh, we're going to have a few guests on the show. So uh, tune in around uh, two o'clock or just after two o'clock and uh, we'll see you then uh, properly. Uh, so join us around two o'clock and uh, we'll do a proper session with a better connection and better audio connection because it's quite busy and crowded here. We're gonna find a quieter place and I'll see you in about an hour and a half around two o'clock. See you guys.